us as we are approaching some mangroves. We're about to hop in a kayak and have a little explore through here. This is very cool. Okay, George, you, you drive for a bit. I'll try and paddle. And I'll um, show you guys. Oh my god, this is magical. I've never, I've always been uh, sorry, fascinated. George! Sorry. I've sorry. always been fascinated by anymore. mangroves. Um, I'm going to get hit in the sorry. head. Sorry. Okay, just, 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 just stop a sec. Just stop, stop a bit. Just stop a bit. Okay. I've always been fascinated by mangroves, is what I was going to say. And we're now, if I show you guys, we're literally in the middle of a mangrove forest. But look down here. Like, look at that. How it looks like something from a movie, like a fantasy movie. And you'll see like I'm like Robin Hood or something. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, look down here. Magic. It's Whoa. incredible. I'm, I'm literally actually, blown to be honest, away. just focusing and keeping us in a straight line. Thank you, that sounds great. Oh, I'm actually blown away. This is awesome. And the sun's just coming in. This is one of the coolest experiences I think ever. Yeah, we've never seen this in the Philippines, have we? No, mangroves? well maybe we've seen it and gone past it, but I don't think we've ever gone exactly gone through. through it. Our, um, our boat guys promised they'd wait for us. So <laughs> we hope we don't so. have to paddle back to the resort. I just thought, what if there's spiders and no one's been down here for a while and I'm in the front? Oh, unlucky. I'm asking if I to go for a spider web. Oh, that would freak me out. Good little workout as well. Yeah, well done, George. Should we get down here? It's like a different uh, way. You should have wa warned me well, way, way earlier. Oh, oh, no. oh, yeah, I forgot you could break. is guiding us. I say guiding, kind of. Made it. Please. She's taking us back. Are these, are these old sea urchins? Like Maybe. Sea urchins? Is that a film over here? Yeah, like I think so. Can you see it? Just here. This is so cool, this little tunnel. That's so amazing. Crazy. fishing boats and stuff out. Yeah. So cool. So nice. Very hot. Very, very hot. It's probably too hot. Kind of want to take a dip, but I don't think I'll get back on the kayak. George, do you realise that there's um, a mangrove in front of us? This is where George has driven us today. Excellent driving, George. A three-point turn in a kayak. Of course you are. Of course we're doing a three-point turn in a kayak. <laughs> That was like amazing waters. The 
coral reef underneath was full of fish full of beautiful and really big coral like huge huge bits i hope i filmed it okay but there was a slight uh unwelcome creature in the water with us there were hundreds of jellyfish well, not hundreds like i probably counted like 40. 40? <laughs> yeah George, basically i didn't see any i'm gonna quickly put the footage in now while i'm talking george didn't realize this but as soon as i jumped in the water i saw a jellyfish in front of me i did get stung a couple of times but only like very minor um, and it's always like a little scratch and i've had it quite a few times in the past so it doesn't matter but George didn't see these, so he, he jumps in the water after me and I'm, I'm like knocking him and I'm, I'm trying to tap him underwater but it's super choppy so we can't come above the water and talk because the waves are too big. Um, so I'm trying to talk to him underwater but every time he goes underwater he's like what? Why, why are you like tapping me constantly? And I'm trying to say to him jellyfish, jellyfish, look, look, look and his foot is like this close to hitting it and then I just grab onto his leg and just push him underwater and again he's like why are you pushing me? What are you doing? And I'm like look where you're going. You haven't seen it yet, but there's a jellyfish. So we were just trying to kind of dodge jellyfish, but the water was beautiful, it was so clear. I was just trying not to drown. George was trying not to drown, I was trying not to get stung, and I was trying to make sure that, oh, thank you. <laughs> and I was trying to make sure that George didn't get stung as well. Um, but we're back on the boat now, gonna finish off these bucos, and then I think we're heading back to the resort, but it's probably been one of the best boat trips we've ever done. It's been so relaxed. It's been on a speedboat, which is super fun. Um, we've done loads of different activities, and it's just so nice. And I think we were very lucky with the weather, because it's going a little bit grey now as you can see so a huge thank you to Bellevue Resort in Behold for putting this on for us today it's been amazing we're just gonna enjoy now it's gotten pretty windy so we can actually dry off on the way home and I think we'll be back in about 20 minutes so we'll see you back at the resort okay we made it back made it back well it wasn't very far the boat pulled up right at the beach that's what I like about this resort actually it's right on the beach similar to Crimson where we stayed in Barakai that was really nice on the beach also but we literally to get the boat today as you saw we just strolled down from our room straight onto the beach straight onto the boat and back again but we're now having a little double espresso probably the last coffee of the day and we've ordered some lunch we've ordered some bacolo chicken we've ordered some chicken satay some fried rice we're refuel french fries french fry we did get some french fries because they were good yesterday um quick coffee taste test mm. it's good here oh yeah that's hitting the spot some san pellegrino also and then we worked out we're gonna have a few hours to chill um this afternoon which is gonna be really nice we might use the hot tub in our room or we might come down here and read but now we're just cooling down drying off this is still slightly wet Quite but cool it is a little bit chilly yeah the wind the sun's so gone lovely. away and it's got a little bit windy we were very very lucky with the weather on our trip this morning we haven't yet watched back the drone shots that you would have seen from the boat trip i hope they came out well that's the first time we've actually flown a drone from a boat ever it's the it first time we've hard. done that i was shaking it was very hard it took us ages because our drone has obstacle avoidance when i was trying to catch it it was going up like that and I was trying to grab it and it would move away from me and it's on a rocking boat so took a little bit took a few times to get it out of the air again but I think it paid off yeah and Lucy's flying skills were put to the test today she was flying the drone but expertly done Luce Thank I have to say much. nice so young chow fried rice looks really yummy with yeah. some salt and pepper spare ribs bacala chicken we've got some french fries and some vegetables coming this is so needed tuck in and have a feast oh so nice 